the University of Wisconsin Platteville Highway Technician Certification Program. Nuke Density, equipment needed for asphalt and soils testing on WISDOT project. Hello and welcome to the online Nuke Density training videos. In this video, we are going to show you what you need to have for testing equipment in the field to test HMA and soils. For the manufacturer, we're going to obviously have our gauge and some additional tools that you might need out in the field. Like I said, from the manufacturer, you're going to have your gauge with the lock on the handle. We're going to also have our standard poly block associated with the serial number. We're going to have an additional padlock that's going to go on the case. And we're also going to have our soils prep equipment, including the dry pin, the prep plate, and the extractor. In addition to those, we're also going to want some cleaning supplies to clean our gauge after testing to make sure everything's clean. Um, it's a good idea to have WD-40, some brake clean, and some rags. Also, we are going to need a survey meter to uh, carry with us while we're out in the field in case we have an accident. Some additional soils prep equipment. It's going to be a shovel, obviously. We're going to have a bucket. We're going to have a number 10 sieve to prep our area. We're going to need a a hammer of some sort to drive our pin in. Um, we're also going to need our wheel to, to locate our random test locations, um, both on soils and HMA. Uh, we're also going to need a pocket tape to locate our offsets. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to want some lumber crown to mark out our test results. Um, it's a good idea to have a whisk broom either on HMA to clean your surface or on soils to uh, remove any large uh, rocks that might be present. Um, other than that, for the most part, that should take care of all the equipment we need uh, to test HMA and soils out on a WISDOT project. 